I'm really excited about the week coming up, a little bit nervous about some elements, but I'm just ready to take on the challenge. So yeah, bring it on. The main purpose of Workshop One is a big introduction to pre-hospital care. A lot of the students come to us without a background in it, and even if they have a background in it, it's about going back to basics and really getting that foundation skill set for these guys to develop their careers. So really important from a basic life support, support perspective, and then they can gradually build on that when they come back later for Workshop Two from Advanced Life Support. I thought I might have been nervous for the week. What I'm looking forward to the most is having new study buddies that I can bounce things off. And second to that, all the practical, which is hands-on, which I don't get in my current job. The biggest thrill for me as a trainer is when I'm standing in front of the classes, I'm looking at all the students, I know exactly how they feel, because I can actually feel it. So it's actually very easy for me to relate with them as well. Manage an airway using our airway adjuncts, oropharyngeal airways, nasopharyngeal airways, how to properly size them up, put them in, manage that airway, right through to basic life support CPR. Trauma, they're going to learn how to use all the stretches and stair chairs and all the gear that we use to manage a patient pre-hospital. So pelvic binders, CT6 traction splints, combi carriers, vacuum splints, all the stuff that you probably see on TV, these guys are going to learn how to use those, those pieces of equipment. And this afternoon's component was driving the ambulance in a non-emergency setting. You've actually got to be aware of, the, of your environment regarding the patient and obviously everybody around you. We've been doing lots of practical work which is a lot easier than sitting at the computer doing the book. So to match it all together is really helpful, gain an understanding of what's happening and what we're about to be faced with. There are quite a few students that actually come here, maybe they've done a first aid course before, maybe they actually haven't. They might have thought they're just coming here to do a workshop one, they'll come and do a workshop two. And then you see the same student that's indicating they want to go and do their bachelors in paramedicine. And the trainers have been fantastic. Christy and Jens have been so patient, they explain things really well and um, they're there to help you. It's very comforting. <laughs>